Hi, this is Robert with Cruise Bike, and today we're going to be assembling a V2K. The V2K arrives nearly 100% assembled in a large crate. The steps to complete your bike include installing the seat and installing the steering riser. Your bike, once unpacked, will look something like this. You're going to need a number 4 Allen and a number 5 Allen to finish assembling the V2K. The first step is installing the riser. You will notice that there's a slot in the riser. It faces the back of the bike. The handlebar stem faces forward. You want to install the riser over the fork steering tube and then down into the pivot clamp. Make sure that the riser is seated fully down onto the fork and then tighten with a number 5 Allen. For the seat, we want to remove the two screws installed in the frame. We want to insert one of the screws into the bottom of the seat pan in the back hole. We want to do the back hole first before we do the front. We want to slide the seat tube down into the frame and then we're going to line up that back screw with the back hole on the top of the frame. Being very careful not to cross thread the screw, we want to tighten the back one about halfway and then we want to install the front screw and then alternately tighten both screws until the seat is fully seated onto the frame. Once the base screws are tight, we can use our number four Allen to secure the back clamp. Reinstall the seat cushion and then install the right and left pedals, which should have a right and left indicator stamped on them. Make sure you use a proper tool to tighten the pedals appropriately so they do not fall off. Adjusting your V2K to fit you is as easy as undoing the slider clamp and moving the boom forward and backwards. Thank you for watching and happy cruising.